You want to know the main difference between Kyle and us? What? He can actually ride a bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa! Oh, I might have hurt my ankle there. Who's going to the pool hole? He did it! Oh my god, he passed me! I knew this was a race! We are out playing around on a couple of brand new Husky 501 S's. You know this turkey, but you may not know that turkey. That's Kyle from Rider's Edge. He's the guy that fixes all of our broken stuff. He's a real glutton for punishment because he's coming for a ride today. Let's get at it. You might be asking yourself, what are those two turkeys doing on dirt bikes with clinkers? Well, here's the answer. We needed some smaller bikes for doing some exploration in areas we've never been before. Taking those 1090s out and back trails, one up the side of mountains, it is just irresponsible and dangerous. So we got these guys for our upcoming trip to Invermere and uh, maybe some of our other harder exploration. The 1090s, however, are not going anywhere. I love those bikes. So I'm sure most of you are learning, ordering stuff during a pandemic, not so much fun. So we haven't done everything we want to do on these bikes yet. But the number one, the primary out of the gate was suspension, rider's edge. Blowing our minds again. My bike is so great already. It's nimble, clash, digging it. And as the parts come in, we'll just keep adding, building these things up over time. So one thing we're trying out on these guys is the Trailtech Voyager Pro, and we are thinking that they're gonna be pretty sweet. We've given these turkeys chance after chance and they keep breaking our hearts. So it's time to try something new. So we'll report back on what we think about these guys once we get into them for a bit. So I've moved the shifter around a little bit. I've moved my levers around and my handlebars a bit. Definitely need to move the foot brake. It's uh, not right where I want it and I'm also finding when I chop the throttle that uh, it's not where I'm used to having it. So just fine tune, nothing major, but it's always good to do these shakedown rides and get a feel for this thing before we actually go out and try and pound on it. Chasing this guy around in circles, yee-hoo! All right, everybody, you know you want to take a look at Kyle's super sexy bike. It's a 450, right? It's a 450, yep. Nice, let's do a quick walk around. Point at things when I should see them. You read the suspension. Yeah, rider's edge suspension setup. Um, Huge gas MS tank. 17 and a half liter tank. It's got the Nomad Rally Tower. This is the KTM Rally headlight. Cyclops HID uh, headlights. Um, what else did I do? These little blinkers way in there and a tube. That's pretty cool. Seat concept seat. Uh, underneath the seat concept seat, we got a PR2 ECU. Uh, goes with the FMF exhaust. I was just pointing out we should get something like this. Yeah, that's the uh, enduro tail light set up rather than uh, the big street legal one. Other than these dorky things are gonna tear off. Wee wee wee! And uh, let's take a look up in here. We've got some, some nice mirror and a ram mount. Garmin GPS. Sure to disappoint. This is the missile launcher right here. You push this button. Sweet. Launch the hellfires. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Maybe someday our bikes will grow up and look like this one. Pretty girl! Oh, we just turned off another logging road. On to some fun stuff. And Kyle's got beans in his pants. So it's gonna be entertaining to try and keep up with Mr. Pullman. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Look at that guy. Cool guy. Yeah. Picture this, so 
off kind of route, guys. Come out for the day or half day. Cruises back country outside of Vernon. It is beautiful. Check out the map I can give her. Not too shabby. stuff for granted. Yeah. What is that? That got a little exciting. It's amazing. <laughs> I had to stop and turn on my what's this? Is that trail? I think so. Creepy trail. Yeah. Come have a cookie. <laughs> oh little wheelie for the show. Look at this guy. What a maniac. I'd do that for you but then you have to pick the bike off me. been a good break-in for this bike. Lots of very throttle position. Not too crazy, so I'm not crashing it all over the place. We'll do that next time. Let's see how high you can go, Kyle. See if you yeah. can go touch that gear. Do it. Now, for all the haters out there, I do want to point out that he's got a trial tire on. <laughs> he's the one in the group with the big ball. Yeah. Big brass cojones! <laughs> yeah, see, I did the she hill. did it! <laughs> Good. <laughs> that was graceful. Nice. Yeah. We're heading up there. Way up! Just got the point from the man in charge. Well, this will be fun on any size bike. Absolutely. Nice, long, steady climb. Lots of turns. Tail, folks. I was like, ooh, hot tamale. What do you think, Captain Chaos? Yeah, it's a nose picking good time. <laughs> All right, break time's over. Look at the views up here, guys. This is beautiful country. Blows my mind every time we come out. So far, I give this bike a two thumbs up. I give this ride a two thumbs up. Not super technical, but again, just beautiful scenery, guys. And whoa, came in a little hot on that one. Beautiful scenery. <laughs> and lots of fun hanging out with these two wildcats. Playing in her backyard. This is where you want to have somebody that either knows where they're going. Or, ooh, I, uh, somebody knew where they were going and they GPS it. That's <laughs> just what we're doing. Yeah. Get the tracks, take the tracks, follow the tracks. <laughs> you know, we're seeing uh, all kinds of logs that have been cut out of the way. Do you pack a saw with you? If you don't, 
you probably should because you get down something like this having a great old time just cruising along and then a tree suspended two feet off the trail definitely changes your path or your intended path for the day so pack that kind of stuff likely a good idea guys if you don't have one Suki would be the brand that we would recommend